Hey everyone, today I've got a trailer review for you guys and it is for the X-Men Apocalypse Comic-Con trailer. Now obviously it's been leaked online and it's been a couple weeks now since Comic-Con so I ended up watching the trailer a few times now and I'm actually looking forward to this movie. I've been a fan of the X-Men movies since the beginning and I think they've only gotten better and this time around it actually looks like it's getting pretty serious because they're introducing a character that is just, uh, you know, a serious problem and everybody seems to be bowing down to him like he's some god or something and he just thinks he's all that and it is Apocalypse who is going to be played by Oscar Isaac who's already uh, got his plate full of other movie franchises like Star Wars The Force Awakens and I think that this movie looks pretty awesome. I really liked the trailer because this time around they're introducing some of the more familiar characters but in their younger years like uh, Jean Grey, uh, you've got Cyclops, and even uh, Storm, and uh, I think it looks, you know, pretty intense, and there's just even more characters in this movie that haven't even, like, been seen, like Olivia Munn, who's playing Psylocke, who I know nothing about, but I think she looks pretty badass. This movie's gonna be pretty awesome and I know I'm like it's not the first movie that I'm looking forward to seeing but I know I will see it eventually and the trailer uh you know it looked really intense and it almost had this like dark vibe to it because these characters are being put into these situations uh that basically affect the mutants because they have to deal with this big bad of the series and even more powerful than Magneto and maybe even Professor X who we get to see finally get a bald head so I think it looks really awesome and it's really connecting all these other X-Men movies that had come out previously. I hope it doesn't disappoint and um, also on a side note I know I was kind of complaining a lot in the last movie, uh, Days of Future Past, with Quicksilver and how he was handled and that one scene of him, uh, you know, might not have been the greatest scene with him in it, like his uh, scene-stealing moment. And in this movie, uh, I think he's going to have a better character this time around um, and just be less annoying than the first movie. Uh, one thing that I know uh, I've heard from a lot of people, or at least a lot of people are commenting about this, or I don't know if it's like a general complaint or they're just making fun of him, but obviously because it's called X-Men Apocalypse, everybody's going to want to see what Apocalypse can do. And, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that Oscar Isaac can bring it with this character, but better question is, is he blue or is he purple? Because he's kind of looking like that guy from uh, Power Rangers and... I hope that's not going to be the case and he's not going to be turned into like this big huge joke and he's going to actually come off as like a badass baddie. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to that. I'm just looking forward to this movie overall and I might just have to watch this trailer countless more times uh, before they end up releasing an official trailer because next summer uh, when this movie comes out it's going to be pretty awesome. So. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the X-Men Apocalypse Comic-Con trailer. Did you guys see it uh, when it leaked? And um, are you looking forward to seeing this movie? And what do you think about the uh, look of Apocalypse or any of the other characters? Because Storm with that mohawk, gotta go. So let me know. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.